Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well. Well, we're going to chat about the Steam Deck, but what are we going to chat about today? Well, we're going to chat about setting up the control deck and, you know, like all the functions and stuff. But what we're going to talk about is changing your layout here. So how do you do that? You can do it by going into the actual controller icon on any game. No matter what game you're on, no matter if I'm in my library and I pick Shredder's Revenge, I can click this little controller icon. And at the top, it says the current layout. And if you click it, there is a drop down. There's some recommended, some templates and community layouts, okay? So here's the Steam controller. This is an old Steam controller. Um, I love this thing. And if you see on the back, there's little buttons here and here, and there's triggers and stuff. And these are essentially what most of those layouts were built off of, just so you know. I'm gonna bring this up to the big board so you can see it as well, but I just wanna kinda of go over it as a brief summary. And what we're gonna go ahead and go back real quick, and then we have an edit layout. So an edit layout is really interesting because the edit layout is based off of the Steam Deck right now and how it's laid out. But it's interesting because you only see like A button, D-pad, triggers, joysticks, trackpads, gyro. Like it doesn't talk about the L4 and L5 buttons. It's really interesting. But they are there and you can see them. So if you go to the preview button, it will bring them up and show you what those buttons do here and stuff. So if you're ever wondering, hey, what do my buttons do? How do I get into it? You can go to player controls, you can go to menu controls, and they are different from each other. So let's bring it up to the big board and take a little closer look at all these things. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and just step back a few here. So here, like I said, I was in Shredder's Revenge. I went over to this little controller icon, and this lets me select different layouts. So if I had a PlayStation controller, I had Bluetooth to my Steam Deck, or an Xbox controller, I could come in here and change the layout or load a different layout. So let's look at the layouts. We're gonna hit view layout and it brings you up to this menu. We're gonna go ahead and look at the recommended. There's an official. So every time you see official, that's a good sign, but there are templates that people have created. So the, the emu deck, that's something that I've used in a lot of other games that maybe weren't set up for the Steam Deck. Maybe they're unverified. They haven't tested them yet. I will come in here and usually start with the topmost one of these templates and try that. Uh, I got a gyro one to work really well once. And then you have the community templates up top. Um, I, I've gone into here and used this for a handful of things, but never for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. But let's say that you're in the layout that you want. But you can come in here and you can edit the layout and you can see we have player controls and menu controls and as i go through them you get different options if you look at the buttons this is where it houses the l4 and l5 and stuff it's kind of in a weird spot you would think that maybe it'd be part of triggers but it's not there's just triggers is literally just the action of the trigger buttons that can have like the you know semi press these buttons are not semi press so what would you what would you call that i don't someone down in the comments let me know i know there's like it's not pressure sensitive but there's something else um but yeah so this is how you can come in here and i can change any of these around i can select my joysticks i can you know change any of these things so if you're ever wondering like well, heck well how did i remap these buttons you're not going to do it in the actual ui of the game you're going to do it here you're going to load the layout that you want and then you're going to come in here you're going to make sure that you do it for the player controls and the menu controls because they are slightly different. As you can see here, my L4 button does something different here than it does there. So just keep that in mind. Um, I'm a big fan if I'm playing like a mouse-based game. The right trigger does work as a mouse, and this is like left and right. But hey, I hope that's helpful. I hope it kind of gives you a better understanding of how to manipulate the game's controller layout that it shows us, because like I said, that is different than when you load layouts from Steam because when you load those layouts from Steam, so that's how you can get into your Steam Deck's controller settings, how you can edit the layouts, how you can edit the buttons, how it's different than the actual game itself. Um, if you want to, this is gonna be where you're gonna wanna set up your gyro, anything on your deck like that. You, again, you can pick your different layouts, you can edit those layouts and stuff like that. And you can even make your own layouts, but that's not for this video. If you're interested in that, I think there's a couple of videos already out there on the internet. But thanks a lot for watching everybody. Let me know down in the comments if there's something you'd like to see and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.